Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a video on the importance and the means of load testing your batteries. Uh, this is an NFS2640. Uh, the battery was replaced uh, just last August 19, I'm sorry, 2020 <laughs> on the 9th. Uh, it was replaced a year previously as well and um, for some reason the batteries were not holding a charge. I did go into the program and found that on this system the charger was not enabled for some reason. So <clears throat> we just did the annual inspection in November and now I'm going to uh, actually we did this a couple months ago but I rechecked it. I re-enabled the, the charger last month and now we're going to do our test. First what you want to do when you're load testing batteries Make sure uh, at least, well, I, I always do both my leads off the main panel. If it's easy, I can just pull the, the second one off. But as long as this isn't going back into the panel, they're both, uh, both leads are broken on each side coming in from the charger. So <clears throat> you can see I've got my clips on there very securely. You're gonna get a better reading for your load test when they're on there, preferably on the, the actual um, the lug, or the, I'm sorry, the, uh, the piece coming out of the battery. Uh, I'm having a brain fart, don't know what that's called, the terminal. <clears throat> so that's gotta be on there pretty solid. Um, you also wanna have good confidence in your load tester. Uh, make sure that uh, it doesn't get wacky readings between uh, various panels, because um, they, they they can, I've had them where they did not test larger batteries very well. This one does a pretty good job. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we are going to find our uh, leads for the volt test. Okay, sorry, I'm doing six things with three fingers. All right. 1361, I've got these backwards, let me correct that. <clears throat> We're gonna test both batteries together. 27.35, it's a little slightly lower than what the charging voltage is only because I took it off a little bit ago. Hopefully it uh, doesn't, these things can do well. Um, we'll make sure you're testing for the right amperage. These are 24 amp hour batteries. We're gonna hit the test button. And you really want at least over 60%. So it's 100%. Okay, these were able to recharge and they're doing well. So let me do the other one. You always wanna check them in pairs. Um, I have seen batteries that one battery was really lousy, the other one did okay. Um, you can have stuff go bad inside of one battery and it ends up drawing too much off the panel and you don't know what it's doing. So I always replace two batteries, even if I just have one that is bad. So we're good. We got 100% uh, load test, some testers. Uh, will give you an actual amp reading. Um, so you basically wanna, when they get down to 60% of the value, these are, uh, well, like I said, 24 or 26 amp hour batteries. When you get to about 60% of that, you should replace them. Uh, always also check the code. The, um, a lot of people are still going off that five year um, time frame for replacing batteries. Um, I believe NFPA 72 changed at some point to uh, whatever the manufacturer's recommendations were. Um, five years is still generally a long time for a battery. So, um, you know, three to five years is about how long they last. So, always do a load test, make sure they're actually good because the panel can actually read them as good even if you have low amperage in your batteries. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll have more videos for you soon.